Hi, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a shaker card featuring the May 2015 Simon Says Stamp card kit, and I've used some exclusive frame dies from Simon Says Stamp to create the shaker card. First, I'm going to take one of the pattern papers in the kit. This has got some nice gold foil stripes, and I'm going to line up my rectangle die. And I want to make sure that I line it up so that I have one of those ivory strips right below where I'm going to have my circle shaker opening so that I can stamp one of the greetings from the congratulations stamp set included in the kit. I'm going to move up that rectangle just a little bit and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and die cut the circle at the same time to get my front of the frame for the shaker. I'll run that through the big shot. And then I'll take another pattern paper from the card kit. This one's going to be a pastel pink with gold foil kind of confetti-like dots. And what I liked about this is it's going to coordinate really nicely with the confetti that I'm going to use inside of the shaker. So I'll use the circle to die cut that pink circle there and that's going to be on the inside of the shaker for a nice little contrast. I'm going to die cut a backer for my shaker. Because this size of rectangle is not the full size of a standard A2 card, I like to make a backer for the shaker, so I'm going to just die cut that from another piece of cardstock as well as die cut a piece of transparency using that same rectangle die. That'll create the window that will hold the shaker material inside the card. And there's that backer piece for the shaker. Once I have that, I'm going to take a powder tool and rub that over that ivory stripe on the paper, ink up the Mr. and Mrs. greeting from the congratulations stamp set and stamp that with Versamark ink. And then heat emboss the greeting with some gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to go ahead and lay my frame now on the backer for the shaker to line up just exactly where that inside piece is going to go. I placed adhesive there on the backer piece. Now I can go ahead and put the frame together. I'm going to put adhesive all the way around on the back side of the frame. Take the transparency, pull off any of the backing paper for that transparency and take it to the frame and adhere it there. Got to get all that paper off all that film that protects the transparency. Go ahead and place that on. And there's what it's going to look like. I can go ahead and take some foam tape now and build up the actual shaker itself. Now because the sides are wide enough, I don't need to trim down the width of my foam adhesive. However, I am going to double it up so that the shaker material has plenty of room to move. And I'm going to make sure that I butt up the foam adhesive on all four sides of the shaker so that the shaker material doesn't go flying out. Now this shaker is not the full size. It's only this small window opening. However, I'm going to need adhesive all the way down the bottom. So I'm going to encase just the circle with two layers of the foam adhesive so that the shaker material doesn't fall all the way down to the bottom, if that makes sense. And then I'll just pop another little piece of adhesive down there at the bottom so that the whole front of the panel doesn't warp right there where there might not have been adhesive because it's not needed to contain the shaker material. So there's what the card's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and fill the shaker now with some pretty pink posh gold circle confetti. And then I can pull off all of those backing papers and take the shaker backing. I put a little bit more in there and then decided that was too much, so I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to take that shaker back to the shaker to encase that whole piece there real quick. And there is the shaker all finished. So I love that the pattern paper inside of the shaker has those little confetti dots as well as the actual confetti itself. Now these are some heart dies from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to die cut those from some of that pink paper so that I can scatter them on the front of the shaker to add a nice little 
contrast of color and pull that pink that is inside the shaker to the outside front panel. I'm going to use three of these um, heart dies, adhere them with some little mini glue dots, and then I will finish the card design by taking some gemstones and adhering those not only to these heart die cuts, but scatter a few of them on the front panel of the card as well. So here are those little pearl gemstones. I'll adhere those one to each of the hearts and then scatter a few. Once I have those adhered, I'm going to take some adhesive and adhere the shaker to a ivory card base. I was using some ink, trying out the ink from the kit, so that's what's going to be hidden there behind the shaker. And my shaker wedding card is all finished. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.